I brought an Olympic gold medal that was given to Uncle Carl in 1936 at the Olympics in Berlin. They were the first U.S. basketball team to go to the Olympics and they won a gold medal. Yes, indeed. That was the first Olympics that they included basketball as a medal event in 1936 in Berlin. And he played basketball previously. Yes, he played for Universal Pictures. I think the team was sponsored by Universal sponsored Pictures. Sponsored by so. them. And he played for UCLA as well. Yes, he did play for UCLA. College basketball. Yes. And tell me about what you remember of him talking about the trip. Uncle Carl didn't talk too much about the trip. Carl was a very quiet man. I either was told or I read that the final basketball game was played on clay and that it was pouring down rain. And considering Carl's demeanor, I would suspect that was one of the reasons he didn't talk about the Olympics. Okay. He was very proud of his sport. Yeah. So. Well, that was one interesting part of that game was that it was a low scoring affair at 19 to eight the USA defeated Canada in the gold medal game, and it was played in a heavy rain, which made for a real sloppy game. And I saw you brought the photograph here of the traveling on the steamship to Europe for the Olympic event, and they're in their uniforms. Where is your Uncle Carl in the picture? Uncle Carl is right here in the picture. He's the one that's looking away. And then that, of course, leads us to the gold medal here, which says Berlin, 1936 and that's his awarded gold medal as part of the USA basketball team. And well, we've had a lot of discussion on this today, mainly because we couldn't find any other examples that have come to, for sale from this team, being the first basketball team to win a gold medal. Oh, really? Based on the rarity. Our opinion at auction for the gold medal, uh -huh. we would expect it to sell for between $25,000 to $35,000 at auction. Oh, wow and we would believe you could insure it for $50,000. Okay, okay.